All right, what is up? I'm underneath the Mustang. Here's where that bolt is broke. Uh, there it is. It's pretty flush in there. I don't know what you think you're doing. Oh, I'm not gonna record because there's not, not enough room, but I'm gonna try to get this up in there. Might have to sacrifice one of the drill bits, make it real short if I have to, but I have a ton of drill bits, so that's no big deal. Yeah, I think I got it. It drilled a little crooked, but... Come on, sucker. Yeah, there we go. I had some fun with this one. Down in there. Whew. Yeah. Probably messed up. Uh, this video actually helped me look in there. Hopefully it will focus on that close. There we go. Probably messed up the first couple threads. But there's probably quite a bit of meat down in there. It should be okay. Put the stud in there. Oh, yeah, that's turning right in there. So that should be good. Sweet. Cool. That went right in. That was actually the easiest one to turn in there. So far. Sometimes I gotta take the studs out as I'm weaseling the manifold up in there. Show you what I got done so far today. Here's the brute beast. That was a real fun section to mend right here. I had to heat it up and because this was a funny angle right here. <laughs> it used to kind of go this way with that big old coupler right there. So I had to, uh, once I got it tack welded, you know, I had a gap here. And this angle was all funny. So I just heated it up with the torch and bent it over and then saw it, uh, welded it up. So looks pretty good, actually, for what it is. It's wide open. And then this flange... Is this a little larger? And I have a little larger exhaust pipe I could use. But this was going to be too big, too bulky to be down in there. So, so I had to fill in a lot on the welding. But that's good. So this piece fit does fit in underneath, up underneath the car. Like that. So this is ready to be installed. I'm actually tempted to wait till I get some header wrap though to wrap this at least this section here. I'm not gonna be able to, be able to wrap that part too well. But I want to wrap this section here before I put this up in there. Uh, get new gaskets, get it bolted on, and I want to fire the sucker up just to blow out any debris. I did tap on it, bang on it, and run a screwdriver in and out of there to kind of deeper inside there where I welded, but any spatter you don't want those little balls of slag going through the turbo if you can help it so what i like to do is get this all welded together and then fire it up okay got it just bolted up with a couple bolts to show where it's going to go this is where it's going to get interesting i'm going to have to redo the return line on this uh power steering reservoir it goes down to that pump there and then I'm going to have to kind of probably get a little more clearance on the lines there. i got about half an inch over there so far. I'm going to have to just make some more brackets to kind of hold, move those a little bit. Um, still thinking about moving the battery to the trunk. So, and, uh, I'll have to reroute just everything around how, wherever the pipe goes, which is not going to be a big deal. <laughs> it, the cool thing is I haven't had to move any accessories, which would be not too easy on this one since the way this pump bolt's pretty flush to that doesn't use brackets so that wasn't going to be easy to relocate or the air compressor so we didn't have to move any of those so this is going to have to be a pretty sharp turn right here when i make this probably should have had this about a half inch back but i wanted it so i could get to the bolts and everything i already welded it up i thought it was pretty good but, but i want to make a pretty quick radius turn right here which I'll have to do out of, uh, by modifying one of the elbows or just use straight pipe and just cut it and weld it to make the radius. Cause you can't buy a bend 
<laughs> not readily available anyway that's that tight unless I find something to cut and splice in but we've done it before I mean I have made I made real short radius turns on my Dakota when I put two dual exhaust on it um, they don't make kits for that because it's not real roomy and because of the front drive shaft and I made it brought both pipes over to the passenger side and then on back and it worked pretty cool so I'll be making similar type fittings myself here probably make a couple radiuses here and bring that pipe over and then do the same thing here bring them together and come up Y up to the turbo so pretty cool though got that this is really the hard part was fabricating those two exhaust manifolds and they are done out we're just gonna be able to keep my AC there we go. Driver. still gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the uh, tube that goes to the EGR valve I just cut it off I might just try just uh, capping this for now and see if it sets a code I know the emissions control looks at what the valve is does I don't know if it's ignorant of whether exhaust is flowing through there or not like if it has a temperature sensor to you mean to know that would definitely tell you know who knows EGR valve suck exhaust gas recirculation technology I should say sucks so but yeah here's the one I just fixed I just got this on here like that so there and uh, here's the steering linkage I just had to unbolt it but obviously there's not gonna be any issues I could get that manifold off on either side. So, so sometime I got to get over to Lopers, or maybe I could maybe Napa's got it. Got to get me some header wrap, header wrap, and some gaskets, and another stud set for the, the exhaust. Now we'll be done with the manifold. Oh yeah, I'm glad that I just bought this little doohickey instead of an actual angle drill because if you buy an angle drill it's usually just fixed it's just you know turns whichever way some of them swivel but the cheap ones are fixed so this because i had this in there i was able to kind of orientate the handle and everything exactly to get this up in there to drill that out so that definitely worked it was worth the 20 bucks <laughs> And this is what this extractor looks like. You can see the angle it went in. I mean, it's hard, you know, it, the, the, the drill bit walked a little bit and you can only get a certain angle. But I knew that if I, as long as I went into the bit, into the bolt, you know, through its mass, that I'd be okay. The only thing was, as you see this edge here, the sharp edge, which is what bites, so you could turn this backwards. It also kind of had to turn against the outer couple threads in the head I had no choice and I had to beat this in pretty good with the hammer a couple times as I turned it it finally it got a bite and knocked this loose and once it knocked this loose that's when I grabbed my camera because it just turned easy from there so anyway so glad that worked out now I'm gonna have all the bolts in there holding the manifold properly <laughs> <laughs> 